Hi, my name is Kevin Clark. I'm a former grade five student teacher at Chesterly Junior Public School. After that, I became an ex-con, an ex-drug dealer, an ex-pimp, an ex-homeless man, an ex-crack addict. I am running for mayor because I am experienced on social decay and on drugs and alcohol, and I do not agree with Mayor Ford's views and Mayor Ford's message to the youth. I am running for mayor. I could say I'm running for mayor to kick uh, Rob Ford's chicken, C-R-A-P, butt, because Rob, you really ain't got much goals. The real reason I am running is to rebuild this city. I would like to build on what's good of the Rob Ford era. But I also would like to send a message opposite the message the mayor is given. Drug addiction, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, it is not good and I wish the young people to sustain from drug abuse and alcohol abuse. I have gone through great pain and suffering and hardship because of drug abuse and I really cannot stand by and let the situation in Toronto stay as it is. I live in a housing complex with a large amount of family and children. There's puke, there is alcohol bottle, all sorts of drug paraphernalia all over the stairwells. And since Mayor Ford has become mayor and since his problems arise, drug abuse and alcohol abuse is now respectable. I wish to show kids and young people that it is not respectable. I am running for the mayor of Toronto's job. When I was a drug addict abusing drugs, I was sleeping underneath a bridge, eaten out of the garbage. Young people, it may be too late for me, but it's not too late for you. Don't try drugs. The first thing I would do at City Hall is I would extend the hours of City Hall. I understand the people who want to work nine till five. But I believe that City Hall should open past 5 o'clock on the grounds that we realize that most people work 9 till 5. And after they finish work, they don't have time to run to City Hall or they couldn't have done it in the daytime without cheating their employers. So I would like to see City Hall open to somewhere between 8 and 9 p.m. for regular city services. So either change the hours from 1 till 9 or keep the 9 till 5 and train our security guards and all other service agencies so we always have someone at City Hall when the general public is in need. That's one thing. I would like to also create a gigantic playground in the front of City Hall and I would like to make the focus of the city on our children, the focus of the city on family, and the focus on the city on humanity. So I would see that the basic needs of all individuals are at City Hall at all period of time. So whenever you're in need, you don't have to go steal from someone else. You don't have to go break into a car so you can sell it. Because when you normally do that, you break into the car to steal something because you're hungry or whatever. But then where you have to go to sell the stuff is in the drug infested areas. So you normally end up buying a piece of dope along the way. And when you do the piece of dope, you forgot about your hunger. And then, you know, it's gonna go good for a while, but eventually, just like Rob Ford, it will all come to light. So I would like to create playgrounds and I would like to have extended service for the people of Toronto at City Hall. Let's see, well, housing, homelessness is a real big issue with me because I found that when you give housing to somebody, they are no longer the drug addiction and the alcoholism and all that is minimized because I am a prime example of that. So I would like to open a portion of City Hall and I would like to repel the bylaw that stated that homeless individuals cannot sleep at Nathan Phillips Square. I'm not gonna throw them out of City Hall and say, here, Go out to the public and let the public help you. I want the homeless at City Hall. I want those who are hungry. I want those who are lost or can't pay their bills. I want them at City Hall because that's why we have city workers to assist them and put them in the right direction so that they can help themselves. And if we teach someone to help themselves, imagine what they can do to help others. The difference between me and my opponent is I inspire hope and I am not afraid of the five who want to be mayor and I will debate them anywhere, 
any time, any place. And all I need is one debate. One debate. And the people of Toronto will realize that their new mayor, their incoming mayor, if my opponents face me, is Kevin Mark Clark. I am an ex-con, ex-drug dealer, ex-pimp, ex-homeless man, ex-crack addict. I am experienced on social decay. I wish to deal with the issue of crime, the issue of drug abuse, alcohol abuse. I wish to deal with the issue of housing the homeless, not the issue of homelessness, housing the homeless. I wish to deal with the issues of police and political abuse of authority.